Uh, two weeks ago, Paul and Eliza were the last to dance, but ended up first on the leaderboard. Now, with the pointy end of the competition in sight, for these guys, winning is suddenly becoming a very real possibility. I guess they need to be competitive because it's so close and you need to go out there and do your best because it, as we've seen the votes and uh, and, the, and the judges the, the points are just so close so you need to get that extra vote if you can. So quick, quick. This week I've got the rubber. It's all about figure eight action in the hips. I can't believe I'm doing this to so bad. If we can get Paul's hips moving, look out. Better. It's hard work. I seem to get extremely nervous when I'm just about to dance and um, so I need to get over that. We're here today so that we can just get used to performing in front of people. The more we do it, the better we'll get at it. Hopefully after today I'll be a little bit more confidence in myself and in dancing in front of people. <laughs> I've got a pretty challenging lift to do at the start. I always thought Eliza, she looked a little bit more smaller on TV. Yeah, I had Maccas yesterday. I need to spend a bit more time in the gym. I need some grip As soon as I let go of your hand, it slips. I've got to get this grip right. I can feel Danny Green and Tony Perrin breathing down my neck. We've got this far. I can't let it slip away now. Dancing the rumba, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Paul Lecuria and his partner, Eliza Campanini, to the floor. With a smile on their face, how'd you go? Very good, Dad. Um, I think, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, Helen, with the hips okay? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she was looking Thank at. You. Now, you guys had the sort of unenviable enviable task of going straight out and dancing right after burn the floor, and you said beforehand that you, your nerves are always, you know, get the, get the better of it before you're about to dance, and you've always got a lot of family and friends in here. How are the nerves tonight? Um, Actually, they were pretty good tonight for some reason. I've got, uh, got the big crew, I've got the gang that come along tonight, like they do every week, but uh, I was really good. No, I'm, I'm not sure what it was, no, mate. Was... Look very, very, very relaxed. Thank thought you. you were great. Let's see what the judges thought, starting with Helen. <laughs> there was nothing black or white about that. That was red hot. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. It would take people 10 to 20 years to really master the beautiful rumba. It's a very, very hard dance. It's the slowest of all the Latin mm. dances, and it really, the technique of it is very difficult, but you created a beautiful emotion between you. You really presented the lady, and that's a very big part of it. So, a great job, Paul. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that was a simply marvellous performance. Thank you. 
What's great about it was that right through the center of that performance, you started to really warm and you were smiling, but selling and dancing as a man. Mm -hmm. And I love that you were strong, you were, you were definite, you, you were commanding, and it wasn't long enough. I was waiting for more to happen and beautifully finished. I just loved it. Well done, mate. And great idea. Yeah. Thanks, yeah, you were loving yourself sick out there, weren't you? <laughs> you were. You had a general awkwardness about you, a stiffness, not much hip movement, um, wooden kind of arms. But you know what? Oh, let me finish! But you know what? It was fan bloody tastic. It was great. Well, but you have no idea, Eliza, you have come so far as a choreographer. That was one of the most exciting routines we've had. Paul, you were, you were living the moment. You led Eliza. And as a beginner dancer, that's an amazing journey to get to that point where you can then relax your face, relax into it. We were 100% with you. You guys you. rocked. That was fantastic. Thank you, Thank you very much to the judges. Mate, you're wild. You're wild. Head back and see Sonia in the green room. Now, if you want to vote for Paul, and by doing so, support his charity, which is the Asthma Foundations of Australia, then you must dial 1902 for SMS Paul to 19 Of course, the lines will open at the end of the show. Are you all right? I am, I am, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm glad that that's, that's done. So uh, I can keep the feet up and relax now. You're not a little bit emotional. Uh, no. Well, I am. I do get emotional at times. So, but uh, no, I'm wrapped over the moon. Yeah, because you actually. I mean, th th there was a whole lot of like, seemed to me to be, you know, l love going on, which makes me ask, <laughs> what's going on with you and I? Well, did you um, get the flowers? When uh, when the show's done, maybe you and I can uh, have a couple of lessons. What about the text messages? Uh, did you, you get them? Are you texting for us? AVO, anyone? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we better get the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, the judges' scores: Todd McKenney. Brilliant. Ten. Ian Ritchie. Nine. Mark Wilson. Oh, no, nine. Oh, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Thank well you, thank you, Todd. No, they're, uh, they're pretty happy with that. Thank you. You know what? I think you're so incredibly popular. Even Stefano is voting for you. <laughs> that says something. He said me at hello. Love you. Oh, thank you. He said you had him at hello. <laughs> Back to you, Dan.